Yes. Sure. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> Sorry. Thanks a lot. Matthew Lee, Inner City Press, on behalf of the Free UN Coalition for Access, thanks for this briefing and for the process. Uh, I wanted to ask about, I guess, disclosures uh, in, in general, but about, for example, of the candidates. Some of the prior criticism of prior races has been that candidates from larger countries can spend more, that their foreign ministry can support them making grants. And, and I'm not saying it's illegal, but I guess I'm wondering, do you have any thoughts in terms of applying the level of scrutiny that, that a lot of campaign structures in the U.S. and other countries have to having the candidates disclose money spent to support their candidacy. And I also, with all due respect to Irina Bakova, I wanted to ask you whether you have any thoughts of current UN officials that have a travel budget, a staff, a, you know, a spokespeople, either not using that to, to give them an upper hand or in some way disclosing what's being been spent. And just finally, since others have asked uh, questions, I, I wanted to ask about your own, tri the trip that you made to Morocco. It's a very simple question that I did ask in writing, but I'm going to ask it now orally since I didn't get an answer. Did you raise the issue of Western Sahara while you were there, given that it's on the General Assembly's agenda, the Secretary General raised it, and can you explain why this trip was paid for by Morocco, but your trip to other countries in Europe uh, came out of the UN budget? Thanks. Well, yes, let me take the, uh, the so to say, outside the, the agenda questions at once. Uh, paying, uh, we accept any kind of <laughs> paying for our travels because we have a very small uh, budget. So if we are invited, to a member country on a good occasion. We were invited to Morocco because they have in their hand the COP22. Uh, uh, well, we re receive that and we disclose that, as you know. Uh, so there's no, uh, no other uh, uh, argument about that. And uh, what, what uh, I'm wondering one thing about you, okay. and that is, uh, why didn't you ask that question on Western Sahara before you wrote on your website. That I, I probably did. wouldn't you can have check. raised that question. I raised that question exactly with the wording of the decisions of the United Nations in my meeting with the Vice Foreign Minister of Morocco. No, I'm glad what? to hear, but I'd like you to know I did email these questions to Dan, Ula, I did it all before I wrote the article, so I just, maybe there's some uh, problem electronically, but they, they, these were asked. No. And it remains outstanding. But thanks for your answer now. But can you say what about disclosures by candidates of money being spent in their in their uh, campaigns? Well, uh, yes, I, I see your your I see your question raised. I mean, it's a it's a problem in each and every election campaign that not all countries, not all candidates, uh, uh, command the same resources. And and I, I I don't see that it is within my competence. So write rules and regulations about it. Uh, I, I see the problem, and I see uh, you ask in particular about candidates being uh, uh, high staff um, members in in the UN organisations. Uh, I think it's up to the UN organisation themselves to make regulations on that if they seem it's 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 uh, uh, reasonable to do it. Uh, we have had. Uh, there's no doubt that you can be a candidate at, at the same time as you are in a UN organization. I think Kofi Annan was in the same position some years ago. So, so but, but, but the rest of it is not within my reach of competence. But will you be asking the question? This is my final question. Will you, as, would you, do, you, do you think it's a reasonable question that you and others that get to ask questions to the candidates, we may or may not have a stakeout, would ask sort of just routinely of all of them, who's paying for the campaign? Could you have corporate sponsors of a campaign? I mean, I'm just using that hypothetically. But. If I were you, I would raise that question. Yes. Okay. Yes. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah.